Well, hello. Well, one thing we can say for sure, my Bengals sucked ass last week. And new Super Mario shirt. That's how I roll. So you're getting the picks again from the car. I know. But it's the way it goes sometimes. When you're a busy man, you got to keep moving. And anyway, real side note, Jets fans, I'm sorry about Aaron Rodgers. You know, he's out for the season. And Aaron Rodgers, thoughts and prayers go to you for a speedy recovery. I don't think he's going to retire. I honestly don't. I don't see him going out like this. I really don't. Even though maybe he should, but it sucks. Sucks either way. You never want to see a guy get injured. Well, well, Thursday night, tomorrow night, we have the Philadelphia Eagles at home are a seven-point favorite over the Minnesota Vikings. Now, the Minnesota Vikings playing at home last week in a game they should have won. They lost. Vikings fashion. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, but yeah, you know what I mean. I'm sorry, man. I don't believe in Kirk Cousins. I know he threw, I know he threw 344 yards this and that, whatever, but what good does it do if you don't win the game? Um, Philadelphia, seven point favorite. Um, despite Philadelphia winning last week, they gave up over 300 yards to Matt Jones. So there's a concern with their defense, I think. But again, it's week one at that time. I like the Eagles with the seven points. Matter of fact, I like the Eagles outright and the seven points. I don't see Minnesota covering that. I don't see Minnesota beating Philly in Philly. I just, I don't, when was the last time Minnesota beat Philly in Philly? I can't even remember that, but I know it's been a while. Sorry, Viking fans, but you're going on too. That's just what I believe. I don't, like I said, I, I'm not saying Kirk Cousins is a bad quarterback, but he's not your answer. And uh, the Eagles, they're at home. They're going to get it done. Take the Eagles. Uh, Green Bay Packers, one and a half point favorite at the Atlanta Falcons. I know uh, the Falcons uh, rookie, uh, I can't remember here. Sorry. Cheat sheet. Ritter. Yeah, D Ritter. He didn't do too bad. You know, for a rookie, he did pretty good his first game. Not too bad. I think he was like 15 of 18, something like that. One touchdown. Hey, he didn't turn the ball over, and he did enough to win the game. So, there's that. So, he didn't do too bad. Now, the Packers, on the other hand, I think they're going to be okay with Jordan Love. Honestly. I like the Packers on the road, to be honest with you. I know the Falcons are at home, and they played good last week. But they also played against the Carolina Panthers. So, um... I like the Packers. I think they're just in good shape. I don't think, I mean, I don't think Aaron Rodgers being gone, and maybe, maybe for Green Bay, that's a good thing. Who knows? I like the Packers. Buffalo Bills, nine and a half point favorite at home against the Raiders. <laughs> well, I, I'll say it again, Madden curse. I'm wondering, because uh, Josh Allen played like absolute dog shit last week. Uh, not that I have any room to talk, but I'm just saying. Got a, Seems like a lot of the teams that were supposed to be, you know, got a lot of good teams. The Kansas City Chiefs struggled. The Bills struggled. The Bengals struggled. God, who else struggled? I mean, there's, yeah, it was just a lot of teams struggled that you didn't think would. Buffalo Bills, nine and a half points. I'm sorry. I think that's a little too much right now. I, like the Raiders with the points, I don't think they'll win, but... I like the Bills. I like the Raiders with the points, the Bills for the win. Cincinnati Bengals somehow are a three and a half point favorite over the Baltimore Ravens. Um, well, <laughs> I don't think we need to comment on, you know, uh, Joe Burrow's performance. The Bengals always do this. They start slow. I, I, I you know, and ultimately at the end of the season that kills them, you know, but. I know the Ravens won last week, but they played the Houston Texans. Come on. And uh, Lamar Jackson, if you look at his numbers, it wasn't really that good. You know, it was average at best. But, of course, I'm taking the Bengals. And um, 
anything's better than last week. Let's just put it that way. My hopes are high. Anything's better than last week. Let's get it done. Detroit Lions, five and a half point favorite at home against the Seahawks. I like the Lions all day long. I think the Lions and Dan Campbell are the real deal. A lot of people are saying last week was a fluke. Maybe so. But Kansas City is a high-powered offense that can put up 35, 45 points on any given week. So if the Lions can do that at home or at Kansas City, they sure as hell can beat the Seahawks at Detroit. So I like the Lions. Point blank. L.A. Chargers in a uh, three-point favorite at Tennessee. Well, I said it before, and I'll say it again. As long as you have Ryan Tannehill, you ain't going nowhere. And the Chargers, in a shootout last week, they're going to be pissed they should have won. And, like I said, the Tennessee Titans, Ryan Tannehill, come on. Uh, the Chargers are going to win this out. Right. Take the Chargers. Tampa Bay. Three-point favorite at home against the Bears. Well, after what I've seen from the Bears last week, one thing is for certain, Justin Fields is definitely not the answer, and the Chicago Bears got a lot of work to do. So, Baker Mayfield played good last week. Is he the, I don't think he's the savior, but he played good. So, I like Tampa Bay. Kansas City, three-point favorite at Jacksonville. Ooh, boy. Could Kansas City go 0-2? Is it possible could Kansas City go 0-2? Anything's possible, but unfortunately, Jaguar fans, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, if Jacksonville wins this game, I'm going to be hell of impressed. Um, this is a rematch of a playoff game, obviously, last year. Uh, the Chiefs... Yeah, I don't see them going 0-2. I really don't. Indianapolis Colts getting one-point favorite against the Houston Texans. I actually like C.J. Stroud in this game. I like him to get his uh, first win as a Texan and as an NFL player. Take the Texans. 49ers, eight-point favorite at the Rams. Well, I know the Rams spanked the Seahawks last week, but the 49ers are just elite. They are flat out elite. I can't go against them. I think, however, I think the Rams are going to cover with the eight, but the Niners are going to win. New York Giants, five and a half point favorite at the Cardinals. Well, I I thought we played the worst week, but after watching the Giants last week, I didn't feel too bad. So, I know you're paying Giants fans. They'll rebound here. They're going to beat the Cardinals. The Cardinals are just, the Cardinals are horrible. So, Take the Giants. They'll rebound after that ugly win. Or after that ugly loss. God, I'm out of it today. Sorry. Dallas Cowboys at home. Nine and a half point favorite against the Jets. Well, it makes sense now without Aaron Rodgers. So, but I think Zach Wilson's going to keep it close. I think he's going to do okay. You know, everything happens for a reason, people. This could be Zach Wilson's chance to shine. Maybe he'll finally get it now. You know, he's got Aaron Rodgers as a mentor. He can learn from him at the very least. So the Cowboys are going to win, I believe, but they will, uh, the Jets will cover. Take uh, the Jets with the points. Commanders at the Broncos. Denver's a three and a half point favorite. I don't know how Denver lost last week. They should have won. The Commanders won, yes, but again, it was against the Cardinals. So. I think this is do or die for Denver, honestly. If Denver can't beat the Commanders at home, then Russell Wilson is not the answer. And then you need to move on. You need, or, or something else in that organization is wrong. So take the Broncos. I think this is a must win for them. Sunday night, the Miami Dolphins are a two and a half point favorite uh, at the Patriots. Guess what? I'm going to shock you here. This is one of my upsets of the week, even though it really shouldn't be an upset. It's a rival game. I like the Patriots at home, to tell you the truth. I think they'll get it done. Now, Monday, we got uh, two games for some reason. I don't know. The NFL's doing weird crap again. Uh, the Saints are at the Panthers. The Saints are three-point favorites. Saints are going to bury them, take the Saints with the points. The Panthers... They got a rookie quarterback. They're in rebuilding mode. So, yeah, Derek Carr's going to 
have a better game than what he did last week. And even though the Saints won, he didn't have a greatest game. But again, new team, new offense, new coaches. Takes a little while to adjust. I like the Saints on the road. And Cleveland Browns, two and a half point favorite against the Steelers. I like the Cleveland Browns. The Pittsburgh Steelers are in trouble. I mean, after what I saw last week, I really think, I mean, the Browns, I think, are finally going to go 2-0. And, all. and you, you know, you think, as a Bengals fan, I would pick against them. Uh, give, me, give me Cleveland. I'm, I believe in them. I believe in their defense. Miles Garrett, I believe in uh, Deshaun Watson, even though his numbers last week weren't really flashy, but he did enough to win the game. And the Steelers, they're in trouble. <laughs> Flat out. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Oh, and by the way, off subject, I do, I do want to praise Mike Tomlin on one thing. Kick in them two people off his team for kneeling for the National Anthem. I am taught. You know what? If you want to kneel for the National Anthem, get the hell out of the country. Simple as that. Get out. You know? See, go somewhere else if, they, if it's so bad here. Uh, yeah, there's your picks. And last week, guys, boy, as far as actually picking the right teams to win, I was 6-10. and 10. Uh, Point-wise, though, I was a little better. But, yeah, need a better week this week. Go Bengals, and uh, good luck to you guys.